Hey guys, it's Jack from The People's Tool Co. Um, I've been saying for a long time on Instagram, I'm gonna do like a what's in my nail bag. Um, today is the day I finally do it. So probably to keep in mind is my background of what I actually do. So pretty much every day is just frames for me. Um, we're good at it, we've got good systems, I make good money on them. So we kind of just keep with what we know. A lot of our work's prefab, so you won't see me carrying like tons of nails. Mostly like I carry a big nail bag for clip off stuff. So keeping triple grips in it, um, rolls of coils, diner bolts, bolts, that type of shit is why I mainly use the bigger nail bag. Um, bigger nail bag I'm wearing is the Denali 2.0. I've used a lot of nail bags. I started with like the standard one you get from Bunnings, worked my way up. I got a Buckaroo, then I started the tool company and I went to Diamondback. Then I ran Occidental for a bit, and now I'm back in a Diamondback. Um, so both times I've ran Diamondback has been the Denali. This is the updated one, the Denali 2.0. One of the other boys in the crew still wears the original Denali I had. Um, that thing's three, four years old now, and it looks the same as this one, if we're being honest. So they wear pretty well. Um, that's not a concern. Your break-in time sucks a little bit. Only gonna last for about a month or so. Um, and then you'll figure out how you like to wear it. Um, just a quick note on suspenders. I'm seasonal with suspenders. In summer, I definitely won't wear them. Um, winter, I might. If I've got big clothing on, then I don't really notice the suspenders anyway. Um, aside from that, that's probably the background that you need to know of why my setup's the way it is. Um, so, start on my tool side. First thing you're gonna notice is the hammer. That's a M1 Martinez. Um, milled face for framing, that one's actually not, but I do recommend carrying a milled face if you're gonna be framing and never doing any finish work. Chisel, I don't always carry one. When I do, it's a whole there's 40 mil. Mostly for me, if I need a chisel, I probably need a reciprocating saw or a buzzer. Um, tin snips, not all the time, just when we get to clip off, if I'm framing, like actually shooting walls together, I won't bother carrying it. As far as marking, all of that still sits in my right hand side pouch. Pencils, textures, keep a big crayon in there, um, and then just a spare pencil as well. Um, so yeah, crayons mainly for marking my plates, pencils for pencil shit, and then textures if I've got a mark concrete. Stanley knife, gotta have one. That one's the whole for ZYRA, I think it is. Right up the top's my chalk line. Um, great chalk line, not so good for flick out. The line's just a little bit too fat. For flick out, I'll use a Tajima, and then I'll use that one for all my rough stuff, flick and ply, and doing all that good stuff, marking buttons. This pocket here, I'll do a close up, just keeps my phone in it. The rest is just a couple of drill bits, so the three sizes a roofing bit, baton screw bit, a couple of spare Cipro blades. That's really about it for the tool side. Um, on my fixing side up the top, keep a tape, 10 meter tape. It does take a little bit of wearing in to get in there. Um, it's not too bad though. It'll fall out a little bit for like the first month, I reckon. Down from that, square. Um, I've never really liked combination squares. I've always been a speed square guy. Um, and then, yeah, when that came out, it was just even better for me. Martinez titanium pick again. I obviously have reasonable access to this kind of stuff, so I might as well grab it. The spot where I keep my phone on this side, the opposite side's where I keep plans. Most of our plans will fold up just tuck in there. Up the back there, I'll keep clips of framing nails, um, then screws and shit like that. I probably generally always keep a couple of these on me. These are worth, they're about 180 mil screws. Um, they're pretty much like a permanent clamp. On the front side here is a distance measurer. It can be a bitch to get to. Around the backs where my PAS load lives. Um, you can hook it on there. It's not a terrible spot but for most of the time, keep it up in the middle of the knee back there. But yeah, depends what I'm doing, I might hook it there. That's also a good spot for a drill. That's the end of this one. Um, I'm gonna try and do something weekly. It'll either be like tool related, maybe even just my general thoughts on working in carpentry. Um, 
some tips, videos, we might flick out a house, that was a common one on Instagram. Um, a lot of people wanted to see us how we flick out and how we use the layout station to do it. Um, yeah, we'll just see where we end up. I don't have any real plans for the channel. Like if you've got ideas and that, just drop them below. I do read them. I can't guarantee you'll get a reply, but yeah, we'll do like a week in the life video. So you'll see how the tool company runs and that kind of thing. And then how I work that in with being on site with the boys each day. So might be interesting. Let's see what happens. Cheers guys.